All right, I wanted to do a quick video here. This is uh, in response to a question on a Facebook group, but it's something that uh, probably comes up in a number of different cases or a number of different scenarios. So basically the question is how to send an email to the members of a team in Microsoft Teams. And there is no simple way to do that. There is technically a group mailbox behind that team, but it's hidden from Outlook, assuming the group or assuming the team was created from the team's interface. Uh, so even if you were to send to that email address, people wouldn't be able to see the message. Uh, so what we need to do is essentially get the membership of that group using Power Automate, uh, compile their email addresses into, uh, assuming you wanna send one email to all of the members, um, you would need to compile their addresses into a string variable or a string separated by semicolons and then use that to address your message. So um, basically I'm just starting with a uh, instant flow here. This is you know what I usually do when testing something. So I just created a new instant flow, called it demo send email to team or group members. Uh, and you'll see this is a basic manual trigger, no inputs. Uh, if you wanted to make this more flexible, you could add an input where you, you know, paste in the um, object ID or the, the name of the group and then find the group. But we're, we're going to hard code the group for this example. But just know that you could do that if you wanted to make it more uh, useful down the road. So basically, we're going to add one step here to get the group members. And that is from the Microsoft, I'm sorry, the Office 365 Groups connector. So if we go to that, you'll see there is an action to list group members. And then in the group ID drop down, you'll see all of the groups of which you are a member. Uh, even if you are a, a just a member of the group and not the owner, you still have the ability to get this information. So. I'm going to go to my Office 365 Power Users group. And that's pretty much it. You just specify the group ID. It's going to return the membership. But now how do we get the uh, email addresses out of that? Um, what I'm going to do is what I've, uh, there are a couple of different ways to do this, but what I found to be the most efficient way is to use the select action. So if you type in select, uh, this is from the data operations connector. And what we're going to basically what this does is it returns or lets you pull specific columns of data out of an array. So the input is an array, which is going to be the value from the list group members dynamic content. And then for the map, typically you would put in a key and a value. So like type in email and then select the value of their email. But for this purpose, you can switch to uh, text mode because it's, otherwise this would need to be in JSON format. Actually, it is still going to be in JSON format, but it's just going to be a string of, or I should say a list of email addresses. When you switch to this format, um, text format, you can simply drop in the mail property. And let's just try that as it is. I'm going to save this. And we're going to do a test. And we'll run that flow. Done. And it ran successfully. So now if we look at our select, um, from this, we're returning just the list of their email addresses. And there we go. There are all those email addresses. Great. So now how do we get that into a uh, into an email? Because if we were to simply say, you know, send an email. And I'll just use the Outlook send email action. If I were to plug in here for the dynamic content, the either the group members could do that, but then it's going to send an, an individual message to each member of the group. 
Um, maybe that's what you want, but in my case, I want to send one email to all of them. So what we're going to do is delete that. And to, to send one email to one actual message to all those folks, we need to compile their addresses into a, sim, a string separated by semicolons because that's what Outlook wants. Technically, commas would also work in some locales, but semicolons will always work. So that's what I stick with. Uh, so what we're going to do is, again, add another action. And this time, we're going to use join. And this is another action from the data operations connector. And basically, what it does is it takes an array. So I'm going to say the output of that select, because it's an array. It's a list of email addresses. So we'll take the output of that. And I want to join them with a semicolon. Now, you could also do this with an expression if you wanted to. I'll just show that next. So let's see. Uh, next. So now if we want to send that email again, now when we plug in the output of that join, that is going to send email to all of those folks. Um, I'm not actually going to send this because I don't want to spam them, but just to show you uh, another way to do it without this join, I'm going to add a parallel branch here. And we'll do another send email. And in this case, we can basically use an expression in the to field here and skip using that join operation because join is also an expression. So I could say join. And then we need an, a collection or array. So we're going to say, again, the output, comma, semicolon. So you can either use the join action or the join expression in the to field, and it's going to result in the same uh, process or the same, same type of action, uh, the same end result, that is. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, but now that you know how to get the membership of the group uh, behind a team, there are other things you could do. Maybe you want to uh, set up a recurring flow that will maybe once a month send an email to all the members of the group to make sure that they are still engaged and want to remain in the group. Uh, in this case, this is a, a group of users across our university, and um, I might want to just periodically send them a message with, you know, here's what's happened in the past month. Are you enjoying the group? You know, send them a survey, something like that. But there's a lot you can do once you have the membership of the group. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below.